What's up you guys? Uh, it's your boy Lloyd here. So uh, we're going to be talking about something that came up in my webinar. Uh, a lot of people had questions about this. And by the way, if you guys attended the webinar, thank you so much for attending. Hope you guys got a lot out of it. I'm actually going to be keeping the quarantine dating program uh, open for signups this week uh, at the same price that I had at the webinar. So if you weren't able to sign up for it then, uh, just schedule a call with me. Follow the link down below to schedule a call and we'll talk, man. Okay. So what we're going to talk about today is something that a lot of guys uh, came up um, with that was a problem for them uh, during the call. Basically, like you have a lot of conversations in online dating. Maybe you start, it starts great, where you're going back and forth a little bit with this person that you matched with. And it's going great. But then after a little bit of time, maybe a day or two, maybe even less time than that, it starts to kind of fizzle out and you start running out of things to talk about. Um, a lot of times this happens because the girl kind of saw your profile and she likes you at first, but then she's like, oh, maybe I'm not that into it. Um, or maybe she gets bored. Uh, or maybe she starts talking to a better dude. Um, all of those things are kind of outside of your control, uh, although you can have a much better profile. So if you improve your pictures, take better pictures. Uh, I talk all about how to do that in my quarantine dating program. So um, if you want more information about that and me personally help you, then I can do that. Um, but that's one thing that I would recommend that you do to try and, uh, I guess, solve that issue. But a lot of times it's due to a missing thing that you're having with this person. So a lot less that, it fizzles out a lot less than you think because of those reasons and it fizzles out more because you didn't establish a big enough connection with this person. There's not a strong enough connection between you and her, so there's no reason for her to keep messaging, okay? So she swiped left, so she swiped right on you or you guys matched. So obviously there's some attraction there. Um, but attraction is kind of easy, especially when it comes to online dating because we just have so much connection. Sorry, we have so many uh, available options for us. So the attraction part's kind of easy, but the connection part, a deep connection, a good connection is really, really tough to come by. And if you can do that, I can almost guarantee you that conversation is not going to fizzle out. Uh, and she's definitely going to want to meet up with you or FaceTime call you uh, and take the relationship further. So how do you do this? Well, there are three ways to make a connection with a girl. Okay. The first way is familiarity. The second way is bonding. And then the last way is common goals. So familiarity is basically, she just gets more familiar with you. She gets used to you. Um, hearing from you. She gets used to being around you. Those kinds of things. A lot of times when you see a girl with a guy and you're like, the guy doesn't really have a whole lot of stuff going for him. And you're like, how did this girl get with that guy? Well, it's because they're very familiar with each other. You know, it's comfortable for her. Um, so the way you get familiar is just keep messaging her. Um, it's kind of a little bit tough to do when it's over uh, texting. And this is probably the weakest form of connection that you're going to make with this person. But the longer you message with her, the more of a connection you're going to get because she's going to become more familiar with you. Okay, um, so that's one way of doing it. And also to a better way, if you, if you can give her more information about yourself to allow her to become more familiar with you, that helps, like voice recordings, pictures, FaceTime calls, all of those things, if you can get her on them, that will make, uh, that will breed more familiarity. Uh, and then the second one, which if you can get to this stage is a little better, which is f um, a bonding. Basically, you have stuff that's in common, okay? So you bond over certain things. Let's say she talks about a scuba trip that she went on to in Thailand. She got her scuba license there, okay? If you've been scuba diving as well, that's one way to make a connection with her. If you know somebody also who's done scuba diving, maybe you didn't necessarily do it yourself, but you know somebody who did, you can bond over that. And then the last one is that even if you don't know anything about scuba diving, you know, tell her that. I would invite you to, to, to express that to her. That way she can teach you some stuff about scuba diving and now you have this shared experience where you've bonding over her teaching you about the subject so now you know more about it okay uh, so a lot of times I'll do that if I don't have uh, anything that I can make a connection with I, I generally don't lie but not generally I, I almost never lie when it comes to that sort of stuff but um, you know if you don't know anything don't be scared to say that and, and invite her to tell a little bit more about it you know a lot of people really appreciate those types of uh, questions or responses so bond over stuff try and find shared interests and commonalities now the last one that I'm going to do is common goals. So common goals are basically like things for the future. You, you bond on things that you've done in the past, you bond on where you are in the present, and then also you're bonding for the future. So you're heading in the same direction as well too. That is going to make a very, very strong connection. So typically this question comes, sounds something like, uh, you know, where do you see yourself in five years? Sometimes I'll be kind of playful about it. And I'll be like, so Kelsey, like what are your world domination plans or something like that? Or if they don't know, you know, what would you like to do? in the future. Typically girls I find um, it's rare for me to find someone who's super ambitious and who knows what they want to do 
But if they don't, that's okay too. A lot of times if a girl likes you, she's just going to say what she would like to do or she'd be at least playing ball. So you can ask a question, uh, one of those questions, and find out her what her responses are. Tell her what you'd like to do as well, too. Um, and if you're kind of similar-minded, where you're heading the same direction, you know where the, each, each of you is going, um, that can establish a really, really strong connection. If you are able to bond to that level, that girl's definitely going to get on a FaceTime call with you. That girl's definitely going to want to meet up with you in person. So if you're able to do those things, I generally see that the success rate goes success rate goes up a lot higher. So the questions that I would ask are, number one, just keep messaging her and um, keeping that going so she becomes more familiar with you. If you can express your way th uh, your through other mediums like voice recordings, uh, FaceTimes, pictures, selfies, those kinds of things, that will help her be more familiar to you. Then the other thing too is I would ask her, hey, what are some things that you'd like to do for fun or what's some fun stuff that you've done in the past? Those kinds of things. And then the last one is, hey, where do you see yourself in five years? What would you like to do in the future? Okay, Those kinds of future plans and goals. Now, if she isn't really giving you good answers for these questions, it probably means she's not interested and you should talk to somebody else. If the girl likes you, she's going to be playing ball. She's at least going to try and come up with something. Maybe she doesn't have a whole lot of hobbies or maybe she doesn't have a whole lot of ambitious plans, but she'll tell you something. She'll at least say something for you to work with, okay? If she's not giving you anything, that's a pretty tough position to be in. There's a slight possibility she might be just shy, but I generally go for girls that are playing ball with me that are willing to have a big connection because those girls are, are, are just more likely to meet up with me and I'm not going to waste my time with a girl who's just uh, being really difficult. Okay, when there are so many options in online dating. And look, guys, yeah, if you're not getting a whole lot of matches, I would invite you to join my quarantine dating program. We're going to be going over people's pictures. We're going to be making sure that you are indeed getting matches by the end of the month. Okay, so uh, that's something we're definitely going to be working on. Also, your messaging, too. So uh, follow the link in the description below. We'd love to have you guys. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there.